With an insertion sort, the list is divided into a sorted and unsorted section. Starting from the left, each value from the unsorted section is compared to items in the sorted section and inserted into its correct position. The list's first value is regarded as the beginning of the sorted section. The first value in the unsorted section is compared to this sorted section. After each insertion, the next value in the unsorted section is compared and shifted into its correct position in the sorted section. An insertion sort is efficient for small data sets and usually faster than a bobble sort, but it becomes slow for large lists compared to more advanced algorithms like a merge sort. You do not need to memorize any searching or sorting code, but you may be shown some code and asked to identify which algorithm it is. Remember that algorithms can be written in many different ways, so the extract here is just one potential method. Some of the clues of identifying an insertion sort include an outer for loop to iterate through each value, an inner while loop to find the next unsorted value's correct position, and it moving backwards to find the correct position. You can see on lines 5 and 8 that the variable decreases by 1. This is in contrast to a bubble sort where it will move from the left to the right through the list of values. <laughs>